Today is a big day. It is the first step in us getting back on the road after two to three months of a hiatus with Kevin, our beautiful baby girl. We are buying a van. After months of research, we found our new dream home on wheels just a few hours away. So I boarded the Amtrak train down to Baltimore to pick up our new family adventure van. So some of you might be thinking, wait a second, a dog, a baby, and a van? Are you guys insane? Well, a little bit. But like most adventures, we'll figure it out on the way. One of our guiding principles has always been the stoplights in life are never all green. Obviously, it would be easy for us to keep the dog and the baby at home, but we don't want to make it easy. And before we go any farther, let's just take a few steps back. What is this face? What is this face? So during our time off with the baby, we started doing a little thinking. <laughs> How can we optimize our time with our little girl and make the most memories during this precious time? And if we're going to be sleep deprived, we might as well be sleep deprived with views like this. Feels like home. Feels like home. Feels like home. We loved our Airstream and we missed the simplicity of the great outdoors. There's nothing like having the comforts of home while being in some of the most beautiful locations in the world. One of the things we found useful while on the road was having a good waterproof phone case. We found so many water activities where having a waterproof phone case was critical. Hiking, paddle boarding, boating. Cali case is perfect for all of these. It's a waterproof phone case that floats. Yes. The new phones are water resistant, but with the Cali case, you can take your phone up to 100 feet deep. And again, it floats, so you don't have to worry about your phone falling out of your pocket when you're stand-up paddleboarding. The Cali case is one of our must-have items on the road, especially with the new baby. Now we can focus on creating memories with our little girl, and we won't have to worry about losing our phones or those precious memories at the bottom of a lake somewhere. Use the code ROMARU20 at checkout to get 20% off your Cali case purchase. All right, now when buying a van or an RV, the first thing you need to do is decide on the must have items. Now for us, for our van, first up, three seats. There's three of us, so obviously we need to be safe. And now the problem with fans is most of them are designed for two people. So when you need three seats, you need a family in a van that reduces the number of options you have to choose from. Number two, easy access bed. One of the things that we disliked most about our Airstream was the fact that Colette had to climb over me whenever she wanted to get in and out of the bed. So we wanted one where we didn't have to do that. Now, number three, we wanted an indoor bathroom and shower. Call us bougie, but that's just what we want. And now when you're looking at vans and you put a shower and a bathroom in there, that really reduces the size. But that was a trade-off we were willing to make. Number four, a freezer for our milk. We've got a little one, and so we need this extra space. We need to have that storage. So we need to have a nice refrigerator and freezer. And now with these four must-haves, it really limited our options. And it basically came down to one model that we were looking at. Unfortunately, with inventory being so low, there were no vans for us to go look at within a five to six hour radius. This is Luke speaking, may I help you? Hi Luke, uh, I'm calling to just confirm that you still have uh, a, a Class B RV in stock. I do not. Did it get sold yesterday? But let me double check. Let me double check for you, okay? I just okay. want to make sure, okay? Sure. I, hang tight for one second. Are you still with me? Yes, I am. It is not here. The next thing you need to consider when buying a van is depreciation. So we had figured out the model of van that we wanted. Now it's time to figure out how much to spend on it. Well, first thing I did, being the engineer that I am, I tried to get as much information data that I could together. And what I did was basically plotted it on a chart, simple like this, with the price of the vehicle and the year, 
I also the same thing with mileage. The thing is, both these charts, they look almost the same. Mileage, year, you can swap the two out, you're gonna get the same thing. And you're gonna to try to look for some information about where it kind of levels out. And what you find is pretty much the first three years or 30 to 50,000 miles is when you lose most of the value. And that will kind of give you a range if you can find enough vans out there that will tell you what the market price is. And so that's what I did. And it allowed me to figure out kind of what the going rate was for the van. And at that point, then I could take that information and figure out what is a good deal and what isn't. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, last call, last call for Wilmington, Delaware. Okay. Last call for Wilmington, Delaware. Doors are open. All right, where should we start? Well, let's just, since, since we're looking this way, we'll yep. just go here and, and go back. Um, you want to start it up, I guess? Yeah. It might be the first thing. Might be the first thing. <laughs> Well, this is our van. Yay! I came all the way down to Baltimore to pick up this beautiful beast and it is awesome. Hello. Guess where I'm calling you from? The adventure van. The adventure van, the Stoller adventure van, that's right. Scotland's great adventure. Scotland's great adventure. <laughs> There's only one problem. All the iPhone charger cords are all USB-C and I brought an old one so I don't have CarPlay all the way home. Do you have enough battery on your phone? Yeah. The, the You're van, not me. The van also <laughs> has, well actually it's a little bit lower than normal, but the van also has navigation. Oh perfect, okay. Does it have CarPlay? It does, yeah, I just... You just didn't, yeah. It's, it's not the right one. You're my summer day is sweet like lemon Cheers. Are you ready to see the new van? I'm so ready to see the van. Let's go check it out. Bring the baby monitor. Are you ready for some of the nicest parts? Yeah. Check this out. Oh, wait. Check Locked this. it. <laughs> check this out. Oh, you fancy, huh? Oh, that's right. That is, that is very fancy. Hey. Oh my goodness, she's beautiful. She's so long. <laughs> oh wow. A freezer for all my breast milk. Things I get excited about. Privacy, please. Yeah, so you got your stove, what, okay. same time as last time. Yep. The sink is single sink. Yes but I was just looking on some pictures today. People have upgraded this to like a nicer, so they just remove this because mm -hmm. you, you know, not use it. Yeah. But, uh, so I have to figure out the drying rack situation. I know, I thought about that. We don't have a drying rack anymore. Yeah, and that was really clutch in the Airstream. You're my summer 